So mastering responsive layouts on your Frama site can be difficult. It can be overwhelming. And if you're not really sure where to start, in this video, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to take your website looking like this into this. Let's go. Okay, so here we have a project inside of Framer and it's just a simple landing page. But the problem is, as I resize my browser, you will notice that we've got a few responsiveness issues. So let's take a look at how we can actually solve this inside of Framer. So the first thing we need to understand is breakpoints. Now, when we talk about breakpoints, we're essentially talking about a point of time where the layout of the website changes depending on the browser width. So for example, you'll notice on my canvas here, we've got one breakpoint, which is called desktop of 1200 pixels, which means anything 1200 pixels and above in width, it's gonna to go to this breakpoint. Now, if we click on this plus here and go tablet, we can add a new breakpoint, which is called tablet with anything under 1200 pixels, which means when my browser reaches 1200 pixels and it starts to go smaller than that, it will automatically switch to this breakpoint, which is called tablet. And we can also do the same for phone. Now, once you've actually created these breakpoints here, all you really need to do is go through and update the styling. So you'll notice that there's elements here that are kind of overlapping and overflowing. So visually, it's really easy to see where we need to adjust our website. Now, my kind of hack with doing all of this and going through and making things responsive is literally just a bit of trial and error. Normally, if anything's kind of overflowing like this, it's because this size has a fixed width. So usually what you want to do is set the width to be 100% and it will take up the space that it needs. So if we go through and let's just set all these sort of frames here, which have a fill or something else random on them, like a fixed width, let's set the width to be 100% and you'll start to see that our site is just a little bit more responsive. Now, the other thing that you might need to do is add some padding to the right and the left of our sides. So not everything is touching the corners. Usually I write 15 or 20 as a base. Okay, so once you've created your tablet breakpoint, it's best to then go ahead and add a new phone breakpoint because it's essentially gonna copy the styling from your tablet breakpoint. Now on our phone breakpoint here, you'll notice that things are a little bit more extreme and we need to change things up yet again. So just like our tablet breakpoint, I'm gonna start by changing anything that's overflowing to be 100% width. I'm also gonna resize things if they don't feel right. Let's change this to be 100%, this to be 100%, and this to be 100% as well. And it literally is just a matter of going through and refining things. So you can notice for this section here, for example, I've got some random padding that's coming into play. So I'm just gonna be removing that so everything kind of aligns up with my borders. And let's add my right and left padding back once again. And let's just change the grid layout here to be slightly different. So we have more of a structure of our website. And we'll set the height to auto so it all fits. And we'll set the grid layout to be two. So let's reduce the height to say 100 pixels. And now that looks good. Now you notice for my component here, which is my nav bar, even though I've got the width set to 100%, it still isn't responsive. And that's because components work slightly different on the canvas. So what we actually need to do is click into this component and create a new breakpoint specific for my navigation mobile. And then here I can design the exact view for that mobile state. So now when I go back to my component here, I can set up a variance, which is called navigation mobile. And then on my mobile view or on my mobile breakpoint, I can show just the mobile navigation. So let's go through and just refine my side a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. So when I preview my sides, you'll notice on my mobile, it looks great. And as I slowly start to bring my browser up, you notice that the breakpoint is changing the layout. So let's try it with down here. So here it all looks really good. And then as soon as I start to hit that mobile breakpoint, it changes to that mobile layout. And that's how you master mobile responsiveness inside of Framer. Again, a lot of this is just plug and play. As long as you can understand breakpoints and how to create them, then the rest is really just going through and making it pixel perfect. 
If you want more Framer content like this, feel free to consider subscribing to the channel. We put out more Framer content every single week. And if you want to master Framer, check out the Ultimate Framer Masterclass, which is my course with Flux Academy on mastering Framer from A to Z. Until next time, I'll catch you later.